gray rabbit. <laughs> you made me feel like I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are doing a little update out here today. I'm hoping this works better than my update in the greenhouse yesterday because I know that one didn't play very well. But anyway, I just want to give you a little bunny update. So what's been going on with the bunnies? Are you having your face so sweet? What'd you say? Is it going to be sweet? Yeah. <laughs> You don't know what's been going on even though you do the chores every day and you come see them every day. Aww. Well, one thing is that they're cute, right? Yes. And we... The little face. Look at that little face. Hey, Bumblestun. The other thing is that they're always hungry. <laughs> and they're always hungry all the time. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, well... We've gotten their um, their little hut um, set up for winter. We got hay bales oh, yeah. around the um, hut, and then we got their um, heated water bottles on. That's all going ready, and we put hay in their um, cages to keep them warm. So, yep. Good morning, Danielle. How are you doing today? So, hi, Samantha. Can I do it? Oh, I got my pocket and I can't get it. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, it's just kind of a chilly morning here. Oh, mm -hmm. and the rabbits have a lot of fur. Yeah, they're yeah. shed and probably losing their summer coat and getting their winter coat, maybe, or something. They have, <laughs> they have a lot of fur. But. Yeah, it's um, kind of a chilly morning here, but it's really calm, sunshiny, beautiful morning, mm -hmm. actually. So, we're just out here doing chores, and so the kids thought they'd get the bunnies out, and we'd chat a bit. It's nighttime in India right now. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is? Yeah. That Isn't that is... crazy? It's morning here and nighttime there. That is weird. Yeah, so there's not too much new and interesting going on. We have to go shop, do our shopping here in a little while, but yeah, we just wanted to kind of like check in with you guys and give you a little bit of an update. Mm -hmm. So you had all this interesting <laughs> things you were going to talk about. Now you can't think of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. That's always the way it is. You think of all this interesting stuff, and when you actually do it, you just can't think of a thing. <laughs> but, let's see. Um, I haven't done grocery hauls. I've thought about doing it, but I'm usually so busy and, you know, everything that I just, when I get home, I just want to put it all up and be done with it but um that is a good good idea i might do that some this winter once since things um around the homestead are kind of slowed down a little bit show you a little bit about my grocery shopping and what all i get and um all of that especially considering that we you know try to grow and use as much as of our own food as possible so But yeah, what else? Um, I got almost in. Samantha says, I love your bunny hutch setup. Heading to the store also. Oops. For our little one's fifth birthday party this oh. Saturday. We'll tell your little one happy birthday yes, from happy us. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Petals. How are Hello. you doing? Mom. Oh, so cute. Bumblestone's being all cuddly right there. 
So is this um, reception working okay? And you guys, are you able to see us and hear us good? Because I know that I rewatched my update in the greenhouse yesterday. It was awful. I almost considered deleting it, but I didn't. But anyway, we're, we, I was just right on the Wi-Fi. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Good. We're close enough to the house. Good deal. I have a booster, and I'm thinking about maybe taking it out in the middle of the yard and plugging it in, and then maybe I can go a little further out and do some live updates out there. So, yep. So, but the kids are really, really wanting to breed the bunnies. But as we were saying the other day in our video, um, they didn't, it didn't work out too well because I guess Theodore's a little too old and he wasn't getting the job done. And then our younger buck, he's a little too young and hasn't gotten the job done. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But anyway. This, um, this December, um, I plan to breed him because Maxwell will be um, six months at that age. So, yeah. So we'll for sure have a few spring babies, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is thing as it is. It's just soft. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer that it didn't work out, but it was. Oh, well, it, it might be kind of good that it didn't work out with the winter coming on and yeah. stuff. Because we'd have a lot of babies to take care of through the winter and stuff. So the springtime probably might be the better time. So, anyway. Is it just bubbles still with a lot of fur? I know Maxwell has it's it like too. It's like snowing <laughs> yeah. all the fur flying out here. <laughs> if I, if, it kind of is because her fur is like white-ish. Hey, Sathus. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't see that till now. How are you today? If that's, I hope I pronounced your name right. So anyway, um, so what all besides putting the hay around and getting the water bottles have we done to prepare the bunnies? Is there any other special things that you've done for the winter? Well, not really, just moving um, Theodore back into this cage. Yeah, um, Theodore was in this other one over in here. In this bigger cage right there. So, and I had to move him over here. So. You're at work now, taking a break. Um. Oh. <laughs> so you took. That's cool. You're taking a break when you got a notification. Well, I hope you don't get in trouble for watching us not working. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My arm's getting tired. I know. Well, my hair's kind of, it looks, yeah, it is wet and it is cold out here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I should have dried it before I came out because it is kind of chilly. But. Yeah, like I said, we got to go to town and shop. We usually shop for two weeks at a time, get everything we need, and then um, pretty much don't usually go back shopping again unless we absolutely forget something or something and have to go back. So we all hate shopping and we hate being in town. <laughs> Good grief. We have to change our outfit before we go. But, um, at least I'm not wearing this in the shirt under because the lips stick out so bad. But yeah, that's a good idea about the shopping haul. I might do one sometime. Maybe not this time since I'm not very prepared, but like maybe on my next shopping haul or next time I shop or something, I could either take you guys with with us or just show you everything that we get. Um, I'm not usually too much of a couponer or anything like that, but I do shop sales and everything. Satha says, hey Miley, how is the Minekeeper project going? Have you completed it yet? Your Minecraft um, homestead thing you're doing? Um, it's getting close. There's a few more things I need to do. It's so cute. We still haven't figured out exactly how to put it on server yet, but I'm going to get 
to research in that. I'm sure it's pretty easy because a lot of people do it, but we just, we're not the most techiest people around. So it always takes us forever to figure out anything technology related. The kids are a lot better than I am though, but. No, baby's gonna get all the fur yeah. on, on your, oh no. It's so cute. She has yeah. like on her Minecraft homestead thing, you know, she did it completely. It looks really close to the layout of what we have and everything. And um, in the garden, she has, what was it, that one chicken, what'd you call it? The one annoying chicken. The one annoying chicken that's always in the garden. She even has <laughs> that one annoying chicken in the garden, just like we have it. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> and I did put a name tag on him. And it actually says that. <laughs> So, I should name tag all the animals, including chickens. <laughs> yep. And then I do have like horses in the front, which we don't have those, but I have them as riding ones. Yeah, and Mo well, Minecraft doesn't have goats either, so you had to use what sheep? Horses. Oh, horses. She used horses and named them all the names of our goats and everything, but you just kind of have to use your imagination on that one. But. Hey, I Aster looks pretty close on there, though. Kind of. You make your mom go shopping for you? That's a good good thing to do. That's what I ought to do, is just make Miley and Brooke go shopping. Just send them, and just, I'll stay home and take a nap or something. <laughs> and do some other kind of work. Shopping is very boring. <laughs> Goat-sized horses, yeah, well, that is scary. Or horse-sized goat. Did I read that horse. backwards? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> horse-sized goats. That would be scary. That would. We have enough trouble keeping our goats in as is. If they were horse-sized, we'd never have them in because they they're constantly getting out of the fence all the time. It drives me nuts. Some baby goats. You should include some baby goats and baby chickens. Can you do that on Minecraft? Um, you can. It's just to grow up. They grow up? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess you could add them, and then if you guys, maybe if they hurried and visited before they grew up? I think it's like, um, you have to be on there, um, for them to grow up. Oh. Like, to take a certain amount of time for them to grow up. Yeah. I don't know anything about Minecraft, <laughs> so. Yeah, it is. It's pretty realistic, kind of, sort of. I, I could add some eggs and you guys could hatch those. Yeah, that would be cool. Which is not really hatching, it's more throwing them on the game, but... <laughs> you have to, like, throw the eggs from the hatch. Wait, they could just pick up the eggs from the, um, coop. Because I get, like, I think, like, maybe three stacks. Three of stacks of eggs. Sixteen. Wow, you get a lot of eggs. You get a lot more <laughs> eggs on Minecraft from your chickens than we get here. I think they like have eggs every like five minutes. Wow. Yeah. Every five minutes they lay an egg. Wow, if that's <laughs> the case, you'd only have to have one chicken if that was in real life. But anyway, um, there's something else I was going to say, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Ollie is mooing. He can hear us up here. We're up by the house, and he knows we're out here. We haven't gone out to feed him yet. We're kind of late, running late, because um, Brooke's cat and has a urinary tract infection, and I think he has a blockage. And anyway, he was up howling all night long, and we were up really late last night. And so Brooke ran him into the vet this morning, and they're running tests on him and stuff. And so... Because of all that, we are just now getting around to getting our chores done. And anyway, Ollie hears us and he's out there mooing and the goats have been neighing at us and everything. So This is kind of what guinea pigs do. That is a big egg invasion on that. You hear the turkey? Yep. He's, he's sitting over there. They all are, actually. I don't know if you can see him right over there in the coop. That's where we have them now, instead of out by Ollie. And so, yeah, they're also probably wanting us to get them fed. This has, this was a rabbit thing, and now it's turned into a frame thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it usually does. 
Well, we we told them everything that we know to tell them the goat or the rabbit. So yeah. anyway, but yeah. So anyway, I suppose we are going to probably wrap things up for now, so we can get our chores done and go to town. And um, we just kind of wanted to check in with you guys, and we're gonna pop on and do live random videos every once in a while until I can get my camera and get back into the vlogging routine again. So anyway, I guess we will go ahead and we'll just go ahead and go for now and um, we will talk to you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks. You guys have a good day, too, and we'll try to have fun shopping, I guess. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, we will see you later. Peace out. Bye. See ya.